Okay, so the question is, are those watches too big? Um, yeah, probably, but that's mainly because those are not watches. This round display should be placed inside your custom PC case and show various statistics like the usages, temperatures or FPS value. However, you can also use it to display analog clock and that's something that I will show you today. The display is called Tors X water cooler screen, but the name might be a little bit misleading because you don't need a water cooler in your PC. It's just a screen for showing the statistics. There is a little catch and that's the connection because the cable is already connected to the screen and this small connector should be connected directly to your motherboard. So if you want to connect it to the USB port, you have to sacrifice some old USB cable like I did and solder or at least connect the wires. They are called the DuPont wires or jumper wires. Thankfully there are only four wires and the colors are matching the wires for the display. Once you connect the display to either motherboard or the USB connection, you will see this static image and it's not changing, it's really just a static image, but it's an indication that the power is going into the display. So to get things moving, you have to install and run dedicated software. And once it loads, you can choose from a lot of different themes. Now many of those themes include a background video, but you don't see it until you run it on the actual display. There are also some analog clock themes, but I wasn't able to run the black one, only the blue one and this one. Again, the green one I wasn't able to run, but that's fine because we will create our own theme. But before we do that, let me talk about the sponsor of today's video, which is a PCB way. And not only do they provide PCB services, but also CNC machining and 3D printing. And if you use the link down in the description, you can get 10 PCBs for free, only paying for shipping. So thank you PCB way, and let's get back to our project. The only information that I need to know is the resolution of the screen. And looking at the website, it seems to be 480 by 480 pixels. So let's jump into the online editing tool called Photopy and create some graphics. In there, select file new and create a new document size 480 by 480 pixels with the black background color. Click the create button and we have our canvas. Now it might be nice to simulate the shape of our display, so we'll right click the rectangle button, select the ellipse tool and select the fixed size of 480 by 480 pixels and create a new circle that will be aligned to the center of the document like so. Now the circle is black and the background is black so you don't see anything, so what might be a good idea is to create a new solid fill layer, so click this icon down here and select color fill and maybe fill it with maybe like gray color like so, so, so now we can see the circle, the shape of our display. It might be a good idea to also visualize the center of the display and for it I will copy this shape by dragging this over this new layer icon and resizing it by going into edit transform scale, make sure that the width and height are being linked and enter some value for example 5% and now we have a center which is black as well and we can recolor it in a few different ways for example by double clicking this layer thumbnail and selecting a white color. So it's time to draw some hands. For that I'll right click the ellipse tool and select the line tool. Make sure that the width is set to just one pixel. And once I start drawing I'll press the shift key on my keyboard to set the increments by 45 angle degrees. And then draw it around maybe this size. Like so. Now it looks like that line is being aligned to the center. But if that's not the case you can always control select the other layer. Like for example this background layer. And use the align tools to align it to the center. Now the reason why I have used the line tool and not the for example the around the rectangle tool. Is that then now I can select the path selection tool and actually add it is a little bit of stroke. So I'll select the stroke and set it to white color and maybe set it to like 10 pixels. And then I can control the appearance of the stroke by clicking this drop down menu. And I want both the caps and the corners to be rounded. So it looks like the rounded rectangle. But the advantage is that you can control the size of the shape by changing different stroke widths. But I think that in this case 10 is fine. Now I want this hour hand to be connected with the center, so I'll duplicate this layer by right clicking and selecting duplicate layer and move it together with the shift and the down arrows on my keyboard to be touching the center. And I'll again select the path selection tool and set the stroke to just maybe one pixel, so it's very tiny, very thin. After that I can select both layers and group those using the Ctrl G shortcut. So now we have the hour hand and we can use the very same technique for the minutes hand. I will hide this group, select the line tool as previously and draw the line much bigger than previously maybe something like this should be fine. Again, now it's not in the center. So what I will do is I'll select this line together with the background, align it into the center. And for this piece, I will increase the stroke to 10 pixels. And of course, I need to select the color for the stroke to be applied. Again, I will set the caps and corners to be rounded. And then I need to create a copy of this layer, move it down and set the stroke to maybe only one pixel like previously. Group those two layers together using the Ctrl G shortcut. And now we have also the hand for the minutes. I will hide the group and for the hands for the seconds, I want the line to go over the center like so and again align it to the middle make sure that there is the outline being applied of one pixel which should be check if the settings are correct and this could be our second hand but I would like to spice it up a little bit maybe by adding some kind of ornament to the bottom of the shape and we can of course use other shapes to draw the shape but what we can also do is to add some symbol from some font by clicking the type tool and typing some special character so I can open the glyphs window by going to window glyphs 
selecting some font, for example, a FIRA code, and there should be some symbols on the bottom of the font. You can choose which one you like. I'll most likely go with just a simple circle shape, but since the color of the font is black, we don't see it, so I have to change it to white, and now we should see the circle, which I will move to the bottom of the shape. That should be fine. I will group those two layers together, and maybe I would like to use a different color for this second hand. And again, there are many ways how to do that. For example, I can double click the group and apply the layer style being the color overlay, and I can go, for example, with some violet color, for example like this i believe i was using similar color in my example so click the ok button a few more times close the dialogs and now we have the hour hand we have the minutes hand and we also have the second hand and while this position of looking straight up is required for exporting it's quite hard to imagine how the clocks will look like once the hands are moving however when i try to rotate the group it will rotate around the center not around the center of the canvas so we have to create some help layer that will make sure that the size of our group is the same as the size of the display and for that we can for example draw some smaller rectangles into the corner of the screen because those pixels will never be visible even when you rotate the layer so i will select the rectangle tool make sure it's some small size so for example 10 by 10 pixels and then draw it to the corner of the screen and if you press the shift before you start drawing you can see that this drop down has changed to unite which means that the new rectangle that i draw will be the part of the same layer as well as the next one and the next one so now i have four rectangles being part of the one layer and i of course need this layer in every single group so i'll open those groups create three copies and then move it into individual groups and I've told you before that this position is required for exporting, so if you want to create a preview with different time, we need to create copies. And again, there are a few different ways how to do that. One of the ways is to create a smart object. So if I right-click and select create a smart object, now I can copy this layer, so I can create a copy by hitting duplicate layer, hide the old one that will be used for exporting, and I can select edit, transform, and rotate, and rotate it to a different position. So maybe the second hand will be pointing down. And I can do that with also the other hand. So the minutes, I will convert it to the smart object, create a copy by duplicating this layer, and select edit, transform, rotate, and rotate to a different position. And I can do it one more time for the hours hand. So convert to smart object, create a copy, and then rotate it to a different position like so. So this already looks much better, but I think that the center part should be over all the other layers. So it's covering those hands. Now to make things easier for exporting, I will make sure that the center part is also taking the entire screen space. So I'll do the same trick of drawing rectangles into the corners. Grouping it together with the center part and giving it some meaningful name. And we are ready for exporting. We need to export the background layer even when it's not being used. So for that, I will rename it to dash e dash watch background. And then I will use the dash e dash prefix for every layer that I want to export. So this one I want to export, the unrotated minute hand as well as the unrotated second hand. And by the way, the layer doesn't have to be visible in order to be exported. And I want to also export the overlay image. Then I can jump to file, export layers. You can see that we have five exportable layers, three hands, one overlay and one background. Click done use palettes because sometimes it's causing some problems and click export layers as expected the zip file has five images which i will move into the same folder as our teams and now we have those five images so i can jump back to the software for the display in here click the team edit to open the team editing window and we want to add the image so i'll click the image and select the add element button and this will be our background image because as you can see here we have to have the background image even when we will set the video background later on so i'll click the select image button and select our black background and then move it to the position zero zero the next thing to add is the hour hand so i'll select the clock and click the add element and from this drop down menu i will select the time and we want to show the hours in the 12 hour format we of course need to select our image that will be this one and here the position is measured from the center so we need to move it by minus 240 pixels for both the x and y direction we will add the other hands in a very similar way so click the clock add element select the time in here and from this one select minutes so m for minutes select the image that will be our minute hand, move it to the minus 240 for both X and Y position. And finally, for the second hand, select clock, add element, select the data source to be time. As for seconds, select the image, it will be the second hand, move it to the center, so minus 244 X and Y. And the last piece that you want to add is the overlay image, so select image, add element, and for the image itself, select the overlay image, which is this watch overlay, and move it to the center by selecting 0 and 0 for both X and Y. Give it some meaningful name and click the save team button and you will be surprised there is no save dialog it just says save success which means it was saved and it was saved in the same folder as other teams so we can close this window but however to see it in this list we need to restart the application and once you do that you should see our new team inside this drop down menu i think it looks fine let's try to press the run button and see it on the display
And so after a few seconds, the clocks are really animating on the display. So let's spice it up by adding the video background. For that, we need to first stop the team from running and then click the set background button. And there are actually quite a lot of videos available in the application folder. And they also all look nice. I believe I was going with this Galaxy one. So let's try that one. Get the open button and you will see a static preview in here. It's not being animated, but once you click the run button, it will upload the video to the display and then it will be animating on the display. And you are of course free to experiment with different videos. Maybe the pink one, the blue one, those rotating circles, or perhaps this energy animation. There is also this energy animation. Now remember that our hands are fully transparent, which means that this video could be used as well, although there might be that enough contrast. Anyway, that's all for today. If you want to learn more about those displays, I have those two videos that you can watch. If you have any questions, please put those down in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Thanks, and bye. Also, if you have any preferences to which video topics you would like to see next, please let me know as well.